This jambalaya recipe is Louisiana's classic one-pot meal that's a hearty blend of chicken, sausage, shrimp, veggies, and rice, all brimming with spicy and smoky Creole and Cajun flavor. Now, a lot of people are intimidated to make this recipe, thinking that it must be difficult to make, but it's actually super easy as long as you don't screw up the rice. And that's where most people go wrong. So I've got some extra tips in today's video to help you out in that area. And while it goes without saying that this recipe is perfect for Mardi Gras, it's also perfect for a tasty weeknight meal year round that'll feed the whole family. So let me show you how to make it. To get started, we're gonna make a homemade Cajun seasoning from scratch. You can of course buy a packaged Cajun seasoning, but it's so easy to make a blend at home and then save it for future recipes. My version includes three tablespoons of paprika, two tablespoons of kosher salt, two tablespoons of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of dried oregano, one tablespoon of dried thyme, one tablespoon of cayenne pepper, and one tablespoon of black pepper. The herbs in my blend actually make it a cross between a Creole and a Cajun seasoning, but it simplifies many recipes in that you don't have to add those herbs later. And of course, I store this blend in my spice jars, which I showed you on my spice drawer organization video. The flavor base of jambalaya and other Louisiana favorites like gumbo is something called the Holy Trinity, and it's similar to a French mirepoix of chopped veggies. But instead of a celery, carrot, and onion, it's celery, bell pepper, and onion. It's also not unlike the Spanish sofrito of aromatic veggies, which includes onion, garlic, bell peppers, and tomatoes. In fact, similar veggie flavor bases are common in many cuisines, from Cuban to Colombian, Brazilian, Filipino, and more, with slight tweaks here or there. It's a great way to bulk up recipes with veggies, and of course, make everything taste better. But for today's jambalaya recipe, you'll need two ribs of celery, two bell peppers, and one large onion. And once you've chopped them all up, add them to a mixing bowl. And you can just pile them on top of each other and then set that bowl aside for now. Next up is four garlic cloves, so I'll give them a quick bash with the side of my knife, then peel off their skins. And then also set these aside to take over to the stove here in a second. When it comes to the protein element of jambalaya, andouille sausage is a must. This smoked pork sausage originates from France, and if you've ever visited New Orleans before, you know Cajun food is an eclectic mix of cuisines because of immigrants from many countries. But if you can't find andouille sausage, you can substitute it with Spanish chorizo, which has a similar spice and smoked flavor. You'll need 11 ounces of sausage, and you can just slice it up into bite-sized rounds and then add it to a separate prep bowl. Now, some jambalaya recipes include three proteins, which are sausage, chicken, and shrimp, and some just include the sausage and shrimp. I personally like to add the chicken, and you can use boneless, skinless chicken breast or chicken thighs, it's up to you. But either way, you'll need a pound of chicken and just chop that up into bite-sized pieces and add it to a mixing bowl. Season the chicken with a tablespoon of your Cajun seasoning and then use your hands to make sure all the pieces are well coated. All right, let's get to sauteing a few things. Add two tablespoons of olive oil to a very large Dutch oven or stock pot over medium high heat. Add the chicken and saute it for several minutes until it's lightly golden and cooked through. Then remove it to a plate, and I'm just using my flat skimmer as it can scoop up the pieces faster. If you feel like the pot needs a bit more oil, go ahead and add another tablespoon or so, and then toss in the sliced sausage. Try to get the sausage in a single flat layer so that it can nicely brown on one side. Once it starts to get that nice crust on it, flip it over and brown the other side. And I should mention that this sausage is already pre-cooked, so you don't need to worry about cooking it through. Once that's done, remove it to the same plate or bowl with your cooked chicken. Now, the bottom of your pot may look a bit burned at this point, but that's all super tasty flavor that we'll release as soon as we add the holy trinity of veggies. So dump those into the pot. I'm sure you guys know this from my other recipes, but as you saute those chopped onions and veggies, they release moisture, and that moisture will naturally deglaze the pan. So saute them for about four to five minutes or until they've softened. Add the garlic by mincing it straight into the pot, then add half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes for extra spice, and another tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. Stir that together for 30 seconds or so, and then add one and a half cups of rinsed long grain white rice. 
And before we go any further, I'm gonna pause here for a second and tell you where many folks screw up, and that's that they cook the rice way too long in the pot and it ends up mushy. I'm using a white basmati rice today and it only needs to cook for 10 to 12 minutes. But if you really want to ensure firmer, separate grains, you can use parboiled rice that has been partially boiled in the husk. It's a bit harder to overcook and turn mushy, though it does require more time, about 25 minutes. I've listed these tips on the recipe blog post on my website, but just wanted to call this out as I've heard from too many people who have ended up with mushy jambalaya using a white basmati rice and cooking it for 25 to 30 minutes because that's what some online recipes say to do without talking about the different types of rice. Okay, so back to today's recipe. I'm using the white basmati rice, so I'll measure out one and a half cups, give that a quick rinse under the faucet, and then we're back to where we were, which is adding it to the sauteed veggies. Stir the rice for a minute so it can get all coated in that flavor, then add one bay leaf, one 15 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, and three cups of low sodium chicken broth. Though if you opt for the parboiled rice, you'll likely need a bit more broth or liquid. Give that a stir, bring it to a simmer, then reduce the heat to low and cover the pot. Cook the rice for about seven to eight minutes or until it's just al dente. You do not want it fully cooked at this stage. And I'll stir it once or twice while it's cooking just to make sure it's not sticking to the bottom, but don't over stir as that will make it more starchy. When the rice is al dente and it's still looking a bit soupy, remove the bay leaf and then add one pound of jumbo shrimp along with your sausage and chicken back to the pot. Turn off the heat and gently stir this together so that the shrimp get buried in the hot rice and veggies, then cover the pot. The residual heat should cook the shrimp in about four to five minutes, the chicken and sausage will warm up and all of the residual liquid will be absorbed by the rice as it continues to steam. Your jambalaya recipe is now done and you can see that the shrimp are opaque and pink when you give it a final stir or two. Trust me when I say that your kitchen is gonna smell like one fantastic Mardi Gras party and then all that's left to do is add some bright green garnishes like chopped green onions and parsley. This recipe is such a simple mix of veggies, spices, rice, and protein and it's a classic one pot meal that will certainly fill you up and make your taste buds happy. I enjoyed leftovers of this recipe all week long and I was certainly not upset about it. Don't forget that all of the step-by-step -step details and photos of this recipe are on my website, along with the recipe for the Cajun seasoning and a recipe for creamy Cajun chicken that's pretty darn fantastic and you should definitely try that one as well. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video, share it with your family and friends, and I will see you guys again in the next video.